So I've been having quite an interesting conversation. Um, I, I, I feel like, and, and I've spoken about something like this before, uh, and in that video, I'll probably leave, leave the link to that video below. Um, in that video, I spoke about how a lot of people say the greater the risk, the greater the reward. And a lot of the listeners of that focus more on the greater reward part of it. So just like a baby, when you tell a baby, can you say dada? And the baby says dada. It's not because the baby actually understands what you told the baby to do. It's just that the baby only recalls the last part of your sentence. If you actually say, please don't say dada, the baby is most likely going to say dada because that's the part that they hear. That's the part that they focus on. The same way I feel like a lot of people when it comes to this particular statement where they say, the greater the risk, the, the greater the reward. It's like we don't really hear the greater the risk part. We hear, oh yeah, reward, great reward. Let's, let's go on that. But no one really questions the, hmm, greater risk, you say. We don't really think about that. And what I'm trying to get at now for this video is that a lot of the seminars and a lot of the videos and books and stuff that I read and listen to and watch of people who are motivating and giving talks and so on, seem to focus more on the positive and that is great people need to be positive and be looking forward to um, doing great stuff and achieving whatever they want to achieve that is great but should we is it is it good for us to not think about the bad side is it good for us to not think about the negative side there isn't much of that that is actually being documented if you watch anything or read anything about people who have suffered through stuff and now finally made it we really spend a very short amount of time on the suffering and the pain and, and all the bad stuff that they had to go through. But we spend a lot more time on, yeah, they achieved this, they got this, and they did this. And there's actually very few, if any, yeah, people are going to be calling you while you're recording stuff. So there's very little documentation, as I was saying, of the failures and... I'm not just talking about the failures of the people who actually ended up being successes, but the failures of the failures, the people who tried stuff and failed until they never became successful, they just failed. There's too very little, there's very little, I feel, very little um, emphasis or focus on that part of life, on that part of things. And I feel like it does in some way give us a bit of an illusion that it's all great and it's all beautiful and it's a journey and it's nice and it's lovely and we probably really don't emphasize how tough it is it's it's kind of like and it's 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 interesting to me because i i i i i sort of made a decision quite a long time ago still in high school actually that i don't really like going to church i don't really want to go to church like i'll go if my parents force me but like yeah, ideally, I don't want to because like, I just feel like the stuff that I end up learning there sort of challenges my faith and it just doesn't really get me to where I feel it's supposed to get me. It's, it's like I go there and I come out less of a believer than I got in and like, I feel it should be the other way. And at, at this day and age, and even for years now, I've, you talk to people who believe in Christ and they go to church and these are people who like uh, are regulars in church and then you're talking to them and you feel like where's this person's faith like don't they teach you that enough don't they drill that into you that it does get tough like i feel like there is parts and maybe look i may be wrong because i'm not big on the bible i feel like there may be parts in the bible where um they make mention of the road being less taken the road being thorny the road being dark and i in this part i know for sure that there is a part in the bible where it talks about the lord being someone's shepherd and that's that someone shall not want and even though they walk into the valley of blah 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 something scary they shall fear no evil yet i talk to a lot of people who i mean there's songs about this and i talk to a lot of people who go to church every time and you see them being scared of stuff i'm like but like don't you believe in god like that isn't that one of the things they teach you like shouldn't you be like positive <laughs> and I think all this comes back to us as teachers, us as um, preachers, uh, what's the word that other people use for? 
yeah, those guys, people who teach uh, either education or uh, mental, um, personal development or business or whatever, people who teach other people things, we tend to focus more on the positives than at least give some uh, credit to the negative. And I feel like that creates not really the right environment because just like we sort of understand that if a baby is spoiled and they grow up to be a spoiled brat, the moment that things start getting tough and they don't get the things that they want, they start to falter and they start to suffer because they're not used to that part. They've never been introduced to that part. Inadvertently, that's the sort of people we create without realizing that, hey, if I don't make this person aware of the downfalls, if I don't make this person aware of the suffering that does exist, that can be experienced, how is this person going to deal with that if that comes? And perhaps I should say when that comes because almost all the time, difficult times do come. And it's at that point where people give up. It's at that point where people commit suicide and all sorts of crazy things that happen. And I do believe that a bit of that is owed to the lack of preparation for those sort of situations. I'm not saying that we should focus on the negative, but at least let's prepare people for that sort of scenario we tell people to go to school and you'll be successful you'll get a job and do this this no one ever mentions that hey but just think remember that you can have your degree and you can start applying for jobs and you can not be employed it is possible no one mentions that no one talks about that no one prepares you for that and as a person when you start experiencing that you start really feeling like it's something about you something that you are not doing right and uh, i'm just not a I'm just the rotten apple and no one wants to hire me no one wants this this what's the next thing i do find a ceiling with some wood staking up that's strong enough to carry my weight hang a rope around there and hang it around my neck and i die maybe i just fail at that too because like i'm dumb oh, that's what i believe now because <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe that's too extreme. <laughs> it's too extreme. But I just want to also know from you, how much time should we give to the failure side of things? How much time should we spend talking about, hey, look, it is possible to fail. That part is possible. It is possible to suffer. There is a lot of suffering that is to be experienced in trying to achieve something. If if, if you're going to do something that is great, you're going to run into a lot of challenges. And the challenges can take many forms. It's not like you're just going to be going into a math exam and you're going to face a challenging uh, question. No, it's kind of like you're going to be writing a, a, a math exam and you go in there and you face a challenging question and the next thing your calculator doesn't work. And then you, you're trying to figure stuff out and the next thing your pen starts not working. And are like, okay, I don't understand. Like this pen, I just bought it yesterday. It's supposed to be writing. Everything's supposed to be working. But life just simply does not work like that. And I just feel like there should be a bit more of that teaching. And not only for people who want to go into business or create stuff and be the greatest of, of, of all or be the greatest soccer player or be the greatest musician. No, this is just simply in life, you can fail. You can try to, you can get something uh, that is quite sort of menial, get a menial qualification and you try to get a job for that. And the market just doesn't have space for you. It happens. It's nothing about you. It's just it happens. It's statistics. The numbers suggest that not everyone is going to make it. It's just the law of numbers and the law of the universe suggests that not everyone makes it. When a lion sees a whole herd of, 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 of buffalo and, and, and it's, it's going to go and, and look for a buffalo to eat, it doesn't necessarily mean that if you're the weakest buffalo, you're going to be the one to get eaten. If you're the weakest buffalo that the lion notices that the lion targets then your chances are quite slim you can still outrun the lions can still survive but you know it just reduces your chances but it's not like a hundred percent thing even lions don't always get their meals every time they want them it still doesn't go their way sometimes but sometimes it does even if you're the lions from the lion's point of view it doesn't mean that every time you see a buffalo and that buffalo looks weak then you're just gonna go get it because sometimes you might go get it and then its mother comes back at you and starts stabbing you with its sharp horns and now you're hurt and like but i was going for the weakest link how am i hurt how does this work it happens okay so 
let's not not just show people the positive side of things let's also show people the negative side of things it's hard to find the number two or the number five to get them to tell their story no one really wants to be put on the spotlight when they're in that position no one really wants to share their story when they're in that position i feel like that is a bit detrimental to society because we all listening to the story of number one and we feel like number one is the greatest which he is or she is and we want to be like number one and we just going there at it trying to be number one can't see there's someone out there who's just better at it and they're number one and then there's another person who's actually number two and then there's three other people who are numbers three to five and then you are there being number six and like you weren't ready for that because you thought you were gonna be number one and now i don't know you commit suicide or you're just depressed with your life because you didn't have that sort of preparation mentally that i may not make it up there that's what i want to get that's what i'm shooting for that's what i'm gunning for but like kanye west said say, said yes said shoot for the stars so when you fall you land on the clouds not that necessarily you're gonna fall maybe you shouldn't have said when you fall maybe you said you should have said if you fall but let's just prepare for that like hey you can fall like you can like that's real that's a reality but let's not dwell much on that let's go for the the, the, the not falling part the flying part but it, it happens it happens birds are born with wings maybe not feathered well enough but they struggle to fly before they get it and some of them just get eaten before they actually okay maybe i'm a bit too negative but no i'm not i know where i want to go i know where i want to get but i always keep in the back of my mind that paranoia of failure of struggle i understand that and i feel like that does help me get through the tough situations as well because when i get there and i start to feel like oh this is too much now i remember that yeah it is but like that's that's the way it goes it's not always rosy things do get bad you get rainy days you get thunderstorms you get a volcano and you get a hot day stuff happens it's the world is just a whole lot of possible events and just about any of them can happen to some extent but uh tell me what you think like do you think that it's good that we're focusing just on the positive and now people can be positive in their doings or should we at least give some credit and some value to the negative so that people are better prepared for if or when things get a little shaky